Welcome back, everybody. This is John from One Hour Academy, heading you into your final Excel lesson. I hope you've been with me the whole time, and I hope you've enjoyed these lessons and learned a thing or two. In this last lesson, I want to talk about multiple workbooks, or worksheets, rather. If you open up an Excel file, you'll notice at the bottom there's different page tabs here, and you always start with three of them, Sheet 1, Sheet 2, Sheet 3. A lot of times people want to use these at the same time to keep track of different information on different pages. So we're going to do a scenario this time around where I'm running a snack booth at a church bazaar for the weekend and I want to keep track of sales of my little snack food items on the three days of the weekend. So I'm going to rename these three pages, sheet one, two, and three, to the days of the week on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you want to rename a page, just double click on the tab like so. And you can just type in what you want it to say. So I'm going to call this one Friday. I'm going to call this one Sat for Saturday. And then Sunday, like so. I can even add a new page. If you notice right beside Sunday, there's a little button here to insert a worksheet. So if I just click on that, I get another sheet. I'm going to double click on this one, and I'm going to call it Total. So this last page is going to total up the three days all together onto one sheet at the very end. So the other neat thing about working with multiple worksheets is that you can work with more than one page at the same time. So I'm going to go back to Friday and I'm going to click Friday to Sunday and whatever I do to Friday is going to happen to all three days at the same time. And the way you do that is after you click on Friday, hold the shift key down on your keyboard and then click over to Sunday and you'll notice that the three days are all selected and they're all highlighted together. That means I'm now talking to all three pages at the same time. So whatever I do to Friday is going to happen to all three pages, which is really cool and really time saving. So I'm going to put a title up here at the top, Bake Sale Receipts. Okay, and then I'm going to list my four items that I sell. The first one being, of course, coffee. What's a bake sale without coffee? Got to have some muffins. Got to have some so soft drinks. Let's spell that right. And we're going to have some chips, potato chips. There we go. Okay, I'm going to also widen out column A so that we have a bit more room and column B at the same time. Now one feature that I haven't shown you yet is the Merge and Center feature. So this would be a good time to show that to you. I'm going to highlight A and B. I want this title up here to center over top of the entire little spreadsheet. So there's a button up here called Merge and Center. If you click on this, it basically combines the cells into one cell and uh, centers it over top of everything else. Okay. Uh, while I'm at it, why don't I just do a little bit of shading here make this stand out a little bit better something like that that looks alright and uh, maybe down here I'll put total okay so because I've had all three pages selected when I go back to each page individually you're gonna see that this looks the same on all three days so to let go of the three day selection I'm gonna come back down here and click on the one page that wasn't part of the group which is total so you can see total is still a blank sheet like it was when I first created it. But check this out. Friday's got this information, Saturday and Sunday. They've all got the same information. So I'm going to go back to Friday, and I wanted to let go of the three pages now because Friday's going to have different numbers than Saturday and Sunday. So at some point, when the sheets become different again, you're going to have to let go of them all and work on them individually. So now I'm on the Friday page, and I'm just going to make up some numbers here for my bake shop, my, my bake stand at the, at the church bazaar. Coffee is obviously a big seller. We did $400 on Friday. Way to go. Muffins was our number two seller. Didn't sell as many soft drinks. Chips were somewhat popular. $200. Looks good. I'm going to do a sum equals sum. You should be getting good at this formula by now. I'm going to highlight these numbers and press enter. Okay, so there's my receipts for Friday. Just over $1,000 taken in. Not bad. Reverend will be happy. On Saturday, busy day, busiest day of the entire weekend sale. Coffee, through the roof, 700 bucks. Okay, I'm going to just make up some other numbers here so you get the idea. 
Okay, do another sum function, just like so. Highlight, press enter. If I'm going too fast for you, please feel free to pause and get caught up. Um, I'm going fast for this just because we've covered this before, and hopefully you're getting good at this that you can just keep up with the speed I'm going. All right, Sunday, our last day of the week, or of the, of the sale. I'm going to put in some numbers here. And almost done. Slow day for chips. And the total is, again, equals sum. Bracket. Highlight all of these. Press Enter. There we go. Format for currency. And there we go. All right, so we have the three different days of the week, each day with some different information in terms of our sales. Now what I'm going to do is go to the total page and I'm going to basically sum up each product from each day across the three workbooks. So this sum function I'm about to do is basically summing the same cell on the three different pages. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some uh, labels here. So I'm going to have total coffee for the, for the entire weekend. Um, total, what was the next one? I can't remember already. Muffins and soft drinks and chips. So this will be total muffins. Let's spell it right. Total soft drinks and total chips. Okay, so this page represents the sum total of all those products across the weekend. So we just have to really do the first one and then we can fill it down and get the same formula for the other products. So here's how we do the total coffee. Equals sum. Okay, just like always. The only difference is our cell span is going to be the same cell across different workbooks. So here's how we do that. Click on Friday. Click on the number for coffee. Hold down your shift key. Click over to Sunday. So you see what happens up here? It goes sum Friday to Sunday, cell B2. I close my bracket off, press enter, and there we go. So coffee for the entire weekend, $1,600. Not bad. Now that I've got the first formula done, I can fill them down. And it fills just like it does for any other formula. And it knows to go to the different cells on the different workbooks, or worksheets rather, to add up the uh, total for each product. Okay, so this one here is summing Friday to Sunday, cell B4. Well, that's great because soft drinks happens to be cell B4 on each of those pages. Okay, so in the end, we can go across all the pages and add all the cells up together across the different sheets. All right, so all that's left to be done here is a total at the bottom equals sum. And then we'll just highlight all of these. And this number represents our grand total sales for the entire weekend. I would say that our bizarre bake sale was a huge success. Look at the numbers coming in here for the weekend, 42.20. Okay, so that is our last lesson. In one hour, you can learn quite a bit in a software package like itself. You're obviously not considered a world-class expert yet, but I'm confident that if you've gone through all five of these lessons, you're pretty proficient that you can make your way around the program and do a lot of the important tasks that people like to do in Excel. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and I thank you for following it with me. If you want more information on this or any other course, please visit my bookstore that's also on onehouracademy.com. I've gone through the, through the uh, care and, and concern to just pick out books that I think are ideal at the beginner level for people that are just starting out with the different software packages. So if you go over there and you can take a look at the Excel category in particular, there's a few books that I've selected that I think would be wonderful add-ons for people that want to go beyond the basics that we've learned in these uh, five lessons. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for following, and hopefully there's other courses on the site that interest you that you'd like to enjoy as well. And the other thing I'll ask is that if you have anybody else, any friends or family members that are looking to learn Excel or anything else that I've got covered on the site, by all means, refer them to me, and I would really appreciate that too. This is John again from Water Academy. Thanks for watching. And God bless.